I'm AJ and I'd like to welcome you to this video edition of the Daily Apple Quiz. Uh, remember to check out the Daily Apple Quiz at dailyapplequiz.com where we feature a new Apple Trivia Quiz question every weekday. So let's jump into today's quiz question. Today we're going to talk about games on the Macintosh um, and Mac gamers have sometimes been a little bit jealous of those with Windows PCs specifically because it seemed like all the good games um, seem to only be available for the PC or they'd be released at quite a bit of later time um, uh, on the Mac you know after they'd already been out on the PC for you know sometimes a few months in some cases it was a little bit longer than that um, and that was often pretty frustrating for a lot of people but back in the 1990s, the late 90s specifically um, some really good games began to be uh, available for the Mac and what was even more exciting was about this time um, many of those games had some pretty amazing 3D graphics for the time. Um, of course, to really experience those 3D graphics, you had to have some decent computer hardware. And that brings us to today's question. What was the first game released for the Mac that required a 3D graphics card to fully take advantage of its visual effects? Was it A. Marathon B. Mist C. World of Warcraft or D. Unreal Time's up. The answer to this daily Apple Quiz question is D. Unreal. In 1998, Macsoft shipped Unreal for the Mac and it, it's, it was a first-person uh, shooter game, as most of you probably know. Unreal was, at the time, a real step forward in uh, terms of the, the um, authenticity, the, the realism of the graphics, the textures, the environment. Everything visual that made up the game was so much better than what had come before. Um, and it's important to note that Unreal could be played on the Mac uh, without a 3D graphics card. However, um, the, uh, the game would resort to a software rendering mode and you really didn't get the best graphics, you didn't get the best feel, the best gameplay with that sort of thing. So it really helped to have a 3D graphics card which would deliver a higher frame rate, uh, better support for textures. Just overall the whole gaming experience was a lot more immersive and it just played a lot more fluidly with a 3D graphics card. And I should know because I spent way, way, way too many hours playing this game. Um, that's it for this episode of Daily Apple Quiz, the video edition. Uh, remember, you can, also, you can always get your um, trivia fix at dailyapplequiz.com. Thanks for watching.